are you still going to be the same wish? How you how can you still be the same wish and be hum- humble and have that humility, but still have this I don't give a f- mentality though. It's not about not giving a. F- it's just about knowing who you are. Mm. You gotta. Um, it took me a while to really understand that. Um, a lot of the time, and man, it's just I was one of them dudes, man. That um, I won't. I won't have my light shine so bright if it make other people uncomfortable. Mm. Now I don't give a. F- That's what I mean. Mm. My supposed to shine bright. Just to show. Like yo, it's real. Mm. You know you can do this too. Yeah. And it's like, oh yeah, wish did it. I, you know what I mean? Let me try to. That's what it's about, man. Light work. Yo, what's poppin'? It's your boy, Mr. J. Hill, and welcome to another episode of the J. Hill Podcast. But right now, I want to give a special thank you and shout out to our sponsor, that's Top Dog Law. So look, man, if you suffer from medical malpractice, a slip and fall, especially a car accident, make sure you call my guy Top Dog Law. That's Top Dog Law on Instagram and topdoglaw.com. Look, if you check out his Instagram, you'll see he uploading big checks. I mean, like every day. I ain't talking about the little ones. The big ones. So shout out to my guy, Top Dog Law, topdoglaw.com. Get that money. I know I'm trying to get it. What's poppin'? You know what time it is, your boy, Mr. J. Hill. Mr. J. Hill Podcast. Uh, we are live. Uh, one of my favorite rappers in the world is here. Dang. That boy ain't dancing, is he? That boy. Baltimore is in the building. Y'all know I love when Baltimore come. I just made a caption about this, and I, and I meant it. My mom called me, and she kind of pissed me off because she clearly understand. I said, I'm going to be big as Oprah one day. And I'm still going to be interviewing people from my city. Mm. They might not understand the value of it now, but I swear they're going to understand when it happens. My mom's coming like, don't be boasting. I'm like, I'm not boasting. Like, like that's for God. That ain't for you. Like, mom, what are you talking about? But whatever. Uh, I say all that to say, y'all know how I feel when I have Baltimore in the building. Y'all know how I feel about Baltimore. Even if Baltimore really don't feel that way about me, mm. they will feel it soon. It's okay. What's granted is in the building. Baltimore is here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah sir. Man. Can you uh get the door for him? Um, Baltimore is in the building. Uh, what's granted here? Like I said, one of my favorite rappers. I appreciate that, bro. Yeah, you look like J. Cole. You said a lot of people say that? Yeah. I just heard a couple of your songs. You kind of sound like it. Did, did you do that in, intentionally? You, you try trying to sound like him? Yeah, you trying to sound like him and look like him? You trying to be like a J. Cole Jr.? Let me ask you this. All you heard, that's all you heard was that? No, nah, I mean, it sounded like similar to J. Cole, kind of like, I mean. I feel you. Thing is, with inspiration, man, you, you, um, you can't really... You can't really uh, decide when the inspiration going to stop. Mm. But with how I go, I'm inspired by the greats, bro. So J. Cole, great. Drake mm. is great. Jay-Z is great. Kanye is great. All of them in, in my bag. All of them. I ain't scared to say it. Kobe looked at Jordan. LeBron looked at Kobe. Like, it's we hoop. Okay. Just because I shoot like this don't mean I'm like this. Yeah. Now, I don't think you... I, honestly, I don't think you sound like... I could see a, a similarity... But I don't think you sound like J. Cole. I could see if somebody thought that though. Yeah, the thing is, I was getting that shit before the dreads, before the beard, all that. It's, it's just becoming an artist, bro. Like that's how you become great. You got to look at who does what great. You know but, what I mean? But I don't think they say that because you actually sound like him. I think they say that because of similarities. And what I mean by that is, <clears throat> Cole is somebody who doesn't really rap about violence, mm-hmm. right? You somebody who doesn't rap about violence. Right, like you talk about it because that's where we're from, mm. but you don't really talk about it like that's what you do. No. Right, so like I can see those similarities of maybe if that makes sense, but like, I don't think you. S- I think that's the only person we can compare it to, bro. Mm. I think if it was a lot of people doing it, they would see the difference with me and him. You okay. Feel me? And the big thing, to be honest with you, Cole ain't from Baltimore, yo. Facts. Like I take, I said this in in a whole nother interview I have. Like I take that shit from any other. State any other place in the world, bro. Not my city, yo. Y'all gotta know who the fuck wish is. Mm. I'm not like any other fucker that then came from that city. Stop. Nobody can put that music together how I wish do. It ain't about just rap with me. I touch souls. It's different. Yeah, you giving me a little like, I don't know. I don't think I ever felt this. Got this. You we, not, we, we probably never. In, we never talked before. I don't think. Like interviewed. Before. Nah. I That's just rap for you. Yeah. 
Like, but, I was about to say, we never actually sat down and had an interview. One thing I can tell you, though, bro, back then, I appreciate the shit out you, man. Like, I appreciate because you. Because at that time, and I'm going to just go back, when I was with D1, bro, like, not a lot of people was trying to open their ear. And you was one of those guys like, nah, yo, I f*** with that Yeah. Like, oh, what's up with Wish, though? Yeah. <laughs> doing that. Yeah. And I appreciate you for that. You feel no, me? No, I mean, but, that's just because... Like I said, like you were one of my favorite rappers. It's still to this day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Still to the, you might not like this, but still to this day, um, what's that shorty shorty song or Pace on the Mafia song? Sometimes, bro. Sometimes it's still one of my favorite songs. That's hard. Why wouldn't I like that? I'm just saying, like <laughs> that. That was shout out to Shorty Shorty. Shout out to Pace on Mafia. Shout out to D Perp. All them, yo. They gave me like the first real like lob. Mm. Shorty Shorty, like nah, take that real. Yeah. I windmilled that. Bitch. Yeah, you crazy? That was like, crazy. And that was like, yeah, yo. That was my first little. You feel like that was your best verse ever? No, it was a good verse. It ain't my best. That was a really good verse. It was dope. Yeah, it was good. Wait till you hear the project. Used to be a good guy. December 1st. Okay. December 1st. Used to be a good guy. It's the reason my energy like this, bro. I wasn't... Mm. Um, I don't, how do I say this? I care so much that I don't give a f no more. That's the one thing I was missing before. Mm. I gave a f too much about what people think. But that's why I liked you, though. F them. That's what it is. What, what, what? It what? don't mean I don't want to keep the same intention as I had before. It's the same intention. I still spread joy. I still lift people up. Mm. That's my power. My power ain't just music. Nah, I'm an empathetic beast, yo. Mm. I feel people. You know what I mean? I like to see people shine. Just not on no corny ass When did it shift? When did it shift come from uh, caring to like, man, I don't even give a f no When I say this is what I want to do in my life, I got out the military. Mm. I move. How bad do you want your dream? I drive across the country for it. Mm. I stop getting for it. Because that can jeopardize what the f I really want in life. That's a fact. So I stop. Mm. I just start focusing on this. I move to LA. I start doing nothing but music, yo. Mm. You know the first thing you say you move to LA? Yo, how them treating you? Mm. It's about this. How has, it, how has it been since you've been taking it more serious? I'm a beast, bro. I don't fear nothing musically. Um, I can help anybody. There's no room that I cannot bring value to when it comes to music. Because mm. it ain't just about rap with me. Anybody can rap. Can you touch somebody? Mm. Can you make a record? You feel me? Like, yeah, yo, I, I plan on... It ain't no retirement from this You feel me? You know how some of I've re re retired from rap. I love this shit, bro. Mm. Music is in me. I wake up with it. I go to sleep with it. You know what I'm saying? Um... I didn't have the confidence to talk like this before. When you realize it ain't too much a can say to you from what you done did in your life, you tend to not give a fuck about nobody's opinion, yo. Mm -hmm. You look at them differently. Who is that talking? You know what I'm saying? Come on, man. You can't line up and a lot of is with me, bro, when it comes to life. Let me ask you this, though. You know, like, in our life, career, or whatever, mm -hmm. sometimes or a lot of times you see people look back and you be like, man, I lost myself. Yeah. And I'm just curious. And it's always 20. Hindsight is always 2020. So I don't know how I'm trying to ask this question. But <laughs> you I, got, I, yeah. But now, nah, what I'm trying to say is I hear you, right? Mm -hmm. But but again, I I don't really know you like that. I just yeah. saw you when you rapped. We never really had a conversation. So I could be wrong in my, yeah. in my interpretation as well. But like when you say like, man, I don't give a f no more. I kind of changed. I'm wondering, is this going to be one of those times when you look back 20 years from now, I mean, 20 years from now, I'd be like, man, that wasn't me. I kind of lost myself. Nah, this is it. Mm. This is it. Before, I was scared, timid. Mm. You know what I mean? I don't know if I should go in there. I don't give a f I know what I can pro provide to people, yo. Mm. It's a sureness. It's a knowing. You know what I mean? Um, confidence got a lot to do with this music thing, bro. Mm. I'm a confident now, yo. Mm. I done been down so bad to the point where it's the only way I got to be. Mm. You feel me? I ain't just, yeah. Again, like, we still getting acquainted, but, like, I think we had a, a, a good enough, a decent enough relationship. Like, when I saw you, I thought, like, that's the, the humbleness, the humility. Like, that's the reason I liked you. Still and there, I can bro. assume a lot of the same for your, the fans and supporters around the world. Mm -hmm. So when you say, like, man, I'm coming into this, 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 I don't give a f stage, for me, it's, like, it's scary because it's, like, are you still going to be the same wish? How you? How can you still be the same wish and be humble and have that humility, 
but still have this I don't give a f mentality though. It's not about not giving a f it's just about knowing who you are. Mm. You gotta um it took me a while to really understand that. Um a lot of the time and man it's just I was one of them dudes, man, that um I won't I won't have my light shine so bright if it make other people uncomfortable. Mm. Now I don't give a f that's what I mean. Mm. My supposed to shine bright just to show it's like, yo, it's real. Mm. You know you can do this too. Yeah. And it's like, oh yeah, wish did it. I, you know what I mean? Let me try to. That's what it's about, man. Light work. If we can go back to those times when you felt like mm -hmm. you couldn't really outshine the next person, right? Like you couldn't. I just mean your, in life. I ain't talking about music. Yeah, 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 like yeah, you yeah. couldn't really have your light shine without taking away from somebody else. Mm -hmm. Back in those, do you do you can you remember where that came from? Or the first time you even felt that feeling? Yeah, yeah, yo, like just um Whether it be a lot of a lot of times with me, bro, I like to see other people do their thing. Mm. You feel me? So if that I used to sacrifice my own shit just to make sure somebody else, you know what I mean? When was the first time you can remember? Bro, this kids, yo, hooping, bro. You might pass up a shot that you could have made, but you rather some somebody else shoot it. You feel me? Like not having the confidence to take it. Mm. But you got that shit. You feel me? Like it's little shit like that, bro. Um and I'm assuming it had to trickle over into the music. Yeah, of course. Hell yeah. Where was it? Where did that shine the brightest? Where where did that, I guess, insecurity or those feelings, when did that happen the most? Was it when you was with D1 and you were surrounded by so many? Nah, bro, before D1, man. When you around certain, um, and, and, and you know you do something nicer than them or you, you know what I'm saying? You may not be so loud about it, mm. especially because of where we come from. You don't know what type of time it is on. Mm. You know what I mean? But yeah, that's, Changed for me as I saw the, you know, as I began to see that I can inspire people with this. Shit. Mm. That's when it was like, oh, okay. But a lot of times, what I had going on is people would tell me I'm great, and I wouldn't believe it. You know what I mean? I might be like, ah, I don't know. I had to see some. Shit. I had to pop some shit off first. Mm. I gotta see if I can really take the roof off of this. You know what I mean? Then when I start doing it, I was like, oh, okay, all right. You know, um, yeah, bro, just. Yeah, you got it. I had to go through life, bro, to get here. I was a, back then, I didn't really, yeah, I made money. I had a, you know, a deal. I had a job. I was in the military. I had a house over my head, you know, a car. But life ain't hit me hard enough to really understand what I'm supposed to be doing. Mm. Sometimes life will shift you in a way to say, like, yo, you're supposed to do that. What was that for you, though? Everything in my life, bro. From as a kid, uh, my mother got me a sex randomly. I didn't ask for it. I fell in love with it. You know what I mean? Um, as far as playing ball, like when I was 13, I, bro, I, I used to have a trainer all that when I was a kid. And um, I had a heart condition when I was 13. And that really, that that real talk, that shit like stopped everything with me as far as basketball. But I still played in high school and shit like that. It's just NBA was out the window. Like, nah. But um, yeah, yo, every even going in the Air Force, like when I was there, all we did was freestyle. They was like, yo, when you get home, bro, really do that shit. You know what I mean? And I, but you were saying something stopped, like something something happened where as though like you came to a realization. Like basically with the music, like something like you, something had hit the fan and you was like, man, this is it. Just asking myself what I want. Mm. Is this it? I ask myself that a lot. And uh, you get to a point where you really just want to go for what you want or life going to hand you something and say, go, <laughs> now you got to deal with it. Mm. Because you didn't do what, you know what I'm saying? I might get a little nosy, but I always What's up, do this. Huh? Yeah. Yo, when you got signed, mm. how much would you get, did you get signed for? How did that work? It depends on the artist, bro. Well, how did it happen? How did it work? You mean you? with me? Yeah. Bro, I ain't need no money. So they ain't give you no money? I didn't want money. I did not want money. So you telling me? You gonna sit up here on this platform and say you got signed and they ain't give you no money. You think I'm lying? Are you lying? No, I didn't get any advance money. Nah. So nah. what's the point of getting signed? A lot of times, bro, it ain't about your talent. It ain't about what you know, it's who you know. That's true. And that's the biggest thing with a lot of a lot of this go down in this industry, bro, is who you know. Mm. You know what I'm saying? It's pay to play. 
they can act like it ain't. It's pay to play, bro. Yeah, facts. You can't come in here thinking, nah, yo, it's pay to play. Mm. You know what I mean? I'm I'm grateful to have met some people along the way, you know what I mean, that helped me push this train forward a little more. But yeah, that's you trying to get in position, man. Mm. Not trying to get, you know. My my goal with music is not to be rich. My goal is to inspire and make people realize that they can be whatever they want to be, bro. Mm. You know what I mean? I just do it in a cool ass way. I tell my life story sometimes in my songs. Like I can write a song about a rose, about a house, whatever. But yeah, how did that? How did that happen? Like how did you even get introduced to D One? I'm curious. Like, cause it seemed like it seemed like you stuck out like a sore thumb because mm-hmm. you were so different from the artists that they mm-hmm. had. They had uh, Peso the Mafia. They had. Um, Band Hunter Izzy, they had the guy from DC. What's the guy's name? Uh, Will. Will uh, the rapper. Will yeah. the rapper. They had uh, Young, Young Crazy. Crazy from Virginia. All of those guys were pretty much like gangster rap, right? I mean, for the exception of Peso of the Mafia, but even inside of the music of Peso of the Mafia was some like street driven mm-hmm. music. You were kind of the opposite of that. So, how did you even get introduced to D1? And, and what do you think they saw in you to make you to want to sign you on that label? Raven Parrish had an uh, event. Where Omar was speaking, and it was like two other people speaking. It was a chick from a reality TV show. I don't know her name, but um, I end up and at these functions, like I always ask, like, "Yo, who am I supposed to talk to?" And I know I'm supposed to talk to somebody. Mm. I go talk to O. And when I went to go talk to him, I said, "Um, I'm Wish. Uh, you know, I make really good, 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 good <laughs> music." Mm. He was. He was like, yo, what? I was like, I'm wish I make good music. You know, it's not on bullshit. Let me go and email me tomorrow and see that. And I sent them something that I just shot. And um, it was dope. And he hit me back like, yo, we need to have a meeting. Mm. But the thing that called him was my speech impediment. It wasn't the song. It wasn't the video. It was like, this nigga can't talk, but he do this. Mm. And that's what fucked him up. And um, they really saw it, bro. Like, they, they, they... Not not saw it, but they saw like, yo, this might take a while. Mm. This ain't no overnight type of deal. And he told me up front, like, yo, you gonna have a slow ride, bro. Like it's not gonna be no no overnight shit. But they saw um p- potential and it got to a point where they said, Yo, we really don't know what the fuck to do with yo. Mm. Cause he's he's you know what I mean? We don't know the lane for yo. And the crazy thing is I didn't even know the lane for me. So if I don't know what the fuck I'm supposed to be doing, how is they gonna know? But in the moment, though, that has to be frustrating, though, because you see them essentially pushing Peso the Mafia. You see them essentially pushing Bad Hunter Izzy. You mm-hmm. see them essentially pushing Willa Rapper, mm-hmm. Young Crazy. And I think Willa Rapper probably came after everyone else. But you see them pushing those rappers, yep. right? Yep. And it's like, where well, you was like, bro, this is going to take some time. Even though you might understand it now, walk me through how you were feeling then in that moment. That's a good question, bro. Ain't nobody ever asked me no shit like mm. that. That's pretty good. That's pretty fucking good. Yo, this is the thing, man. Um, I'm going to look at it like this. I'm going to tell you exactly how I felt at that time. I seen... Um, it, was, it was a couple times where I catch these dudes ever. They just made some shit or they making some shit. Mm. This nigga take whole bang... He came through with the North North joint, and I'm catching the after effects of the ass shit was banging so hard, bro. And um, bro, they made records, yo. Mm. Them niggas knew how to make records. Don't make it think it's just cause they street. No, these niggas is low key geniuses with this shit, bro. And I'm not talking about just the no. They know the business. They understand it. Shorty, shorty, know that shit. He know how to make a record. He know how to make a hook. Mm. Izzy, I done seen Izzy go in there and do some some crazy shit. No pen, no nothing, just record, make a record. So it's like when you giving them ammunition, you giving the label ammunition, nigga, we know how to push this shit. Mm. And it's shit that, that, that they know how to do. So with me, I always had an understanding, yo. You always had an understanding? Yes. You cannot sit up here and tell me that. I don't believe that. But There's no way. You know why? Because the people I'm around, they give me understanding. Why is this like this? Why do you... Yo, Look at it like this. You know what I mean? Yo, shit not, they not going to catch with your shit off front. They don't, you know what I mean? Like, I've had people try to push certain things for me, but we had, we, we tried to hate his record. Mm. They didn't know how to, you feel me? It was a good song. I'm going to perform that shit till I die. But that wasn't a, that wasn't a situation for that record. Mm. 
They didn't need haters. You I know what I'm saying? That. Now, if I could go, if I got what I got now and I was in the same situation, it'd be a total different ball game, bro. Like, I grew from them. Do you feel like that was kind of like a missed opportunity in a sense? Bro, it was one of the hell no. It was what it was. Mm. It's what It was an opportunity. And nigga, like, bro, we, we used it. Mm. We got to use it. Cause I ask that because, again, like, I hear uh, a record, like, sometimes, right? And mm -hmm. I'm not even talking about before D1. Like, we have songs where, like, I forgot when you was playing. You like, I remember you dancing on this, like, polka dot floor. Mm -hmm. I think the guy, Icon, Iconic, has shot it for you. Uh, the Iconic white, Visions. I, Iconic Visions and the yeah. White Boy. They used to work together, Mike right? Smigel, yeah. Yep. They shot the video of, like, the, like you was dancing on the polka mm -hmm. dot. This is before D1. Yeah. So you have songs like that that are good, right? But then you also have, like, hooks on, let's say, Sometimes, right? One of the best hooks, in my opinion, ever. Like, not Baltimore. Like, I don't even say Baltimore or region or nothing like that. That was just me on the verse, bro. That was shorty, shorty I mean, yeah, yeah. But yeah. no, no. Yeah, you had the verse. That's what I mean. Mm -hmm. That's what I mean. You have really good verses like that. There's no way you could tell me that you can do that and you could pipe up a song. Yeah. But you aren't aren't good enough or you don't have a song that they can push. I, I can't hear that. Yeah, bro. I don't understand it, that. That's what I believe at that time. That's what you believed at that time? Mm -hmm. I'm trying to, bro, I've tried to make those type of records. So I was growing when I was with you. I, I, I was not where I'm at now, where I'm just a seasoned type nigga. I know what to do when I go in there. I had no idea what I was doing. I'm still trying to learn how to arrange certain records and do mm -hmm. things myself. Like, they, how they used to treat me? Like, leave Wish alone, yo. Let him. So they, they thinking, like, I got it under control. Nigga, I'm trying to figure this shit out. Mm. You feel me? Like it's I'm an artist, yeah. I'm a I'm a find it, but yeah, yo. I, I for some reason this shit took a minute with me, bro. So during that time, talking about yeah. losing yourself, was it ever? Because even when when you're around, I think we seen this with maybe again in the beginning, maybe with Wale and MMG. Like you see, he's around these gangster rappers, and he's not that gangster rapper, mm -hmm. right? And it, it, I'm only assuming I could see how he could lose himself and want to make this gangster rap. We're like, bro, that's not who you are. Do you think you kind of got lost in that in a moment when you was with D1? Like, you wanted to make the music that everyone else is making and not what you make? I always want to make my shit. Mm -hmm. I never, I can't go full street code on niggas. They like, nigga, you phony. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah, you from here and there. You done was raised here and there. You know what I mean? I'm raised all, all across the place, man. But, yo, I could never... Folded that, yo. I couldn't. Mm. The most I did was was go right the chain. That's the most you gonna get from me, bro. I'm not mm. going on records talking about certain shit that I have no idea about. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, and I think honestly, a lot of the artists they respected me for that. Fact, they knew yeah. I wasn't on no rah rah shit. You feel me? Like, but yeah, man. I I, I ain't never tried to be something that I wasn't. Mm. So, yo, it's crazy because like even you think about the D one situation, you think about you saying, yo, I don't care anymore. Things like that is like my my a question that's brewing in my mind is just simple. Knowing you, right? Knowing you suffer like with a speech impediment, first mm -hmm. of all, like is it like did you go to like some type of therapy to get this nigga, fixed? Everything, like, you know, nigga. We had speech therapy every grade, nigga. Because I'm about every to say like grade. I don't see no type of stutter or nothing. Like, well, that's the thing. Like, I I I kind of learn how to cope with it. Mm. Um, if I feel a word is coming on, I'm like, oh shit, I'm out of head trouble with that. I switch it. Mm. So I can feel whatever the word about to be. Really? Yeah. They teach you this in, in class? Nah, this is something I learned. That's not a technique. That's just something, yeah. Damn, that's crazy. Okay. So yeah. you think about the, the speech impediment, right? You think about the D1 situation. You think about people sleeping on you. And I'm just wondering, like, do you ever get tired? Like, is it ever like, man, I'm tired of having to break the the the, the barriers? Like, I'm tired of always having to prove myself for it. Discouraged? Thing. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Every damn um, every year it hit me like two or three times. Mm. But you know what pulled you through? You can't help but to do this shit, nigga. Mm. I can't help but to wake up and God forbid y'all wake up and that that fucking mem like whatever's just on my mind. I gotta get it out. Mm. If I'm going to it's like sometimes I had trouble with sleeping because like I fuck around and get in the zone on some shit and then it's four o'clock in the morning, yo. You gotta be up at six, seven. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, bro. I'm one of them, man. I'm a true artist, bro. This ain't no 
fake or phony. You know what I mean? Like, so how do you get that though? Like when you have those moments of feeling discouraged, how do you get that out your mind? People, it's easy to say you can't feel like this. You got to get it out your mind. But how, how, what are some practices? Just like we're working on your speech impediment. Like, what are some practices that you do to get those negative thoughts out your mind? Playing good ass chord progressions, listening to samples, listening mm. to good music, um, listening to people talk about the the process that they went through. Mm. Let you know that you're not tripping. A lot of me do shit just to find out if I'm tripping. Like, do I like do I need to stop? You know what I mean? And life I always be like, nah, nigga, you ain't tripping, yo. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, no, nah, that's it's crazy that you talk about just. I done did some amazing shit, bro. That's why I'm not. I know I'm not. I done did some amazing shit, bro. They ain't got no cameras, no nothing on it. It's just it's on it's on me. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah, yo. No, nah, it's crazy because like you said, like you watch something. That's something that stuck out because. In this like new found found space of mind, just the importance of mentality, and it was a it was a it was a moment where I don't want to say I felt bad for myself, but just looking back on it, I really you don't know what you don't know, right? But that's not an excuse. Like like you said, when you have these these thoughts, sometimes you gotta watch something, right? Something that's gonna inspire you. So yeah, we talk about the importance of proximity and in in a community of people. But even when you're not in proximity of people who's winning or doing the things that you don't want to do, mm -hmm. the internet is so large and is at our disposal where you can watch somebody who can motivate you and inspire you. Yeah. So like when you said like just watching things, I thought that was that was like something that's really important and something people need to know. Like if you're not in Atlanta, if you're in Baltimore and you feel like you're not around the people that you want to be around, you can put yourself around them mentally by watching Bruh, them. Bro, I tell you one one thing that really, uh, when I moved to LA, bro, um, one thing that that really like was like, nigga, that shit, like, it's real. You feel me? I seen Shorty Shorty out there. He had a uh, weed coming out, some kind of weed strand coming out. I'm like, let me go pull up on it. He ain't gonna expect this shit. And I go, you feel me? Like, you feel me? And to see the look on his face, it was like, nigga. Mm. But I'm like, nigga, he's Super Saiyan. Mm. Y'all you know, like. I ain't never seen yo get love like that back at home. Mm. And it, it's make you raise out like, why not? Mm. These niggas will, bro, they they praise you over there. In the barber, I'm getting a haircut. This nigga shorty, shorty, come on. It's different, mm. but it's possible. Mm. We both from Northeast Baltimore. I don't do what he do. But nigga, that's, to see that shit, man, it make you go do it. That's a fact. Yeah. Let, me, let me ask you this then, bro. Why... Knowing that, why do even when you came on, right? You like mm -hmm. as long as I don't compare it to nobody from Baltimore, and I started to say something, but it's like what I say. You was like, um, I guess I was comparing you to J Cole. You like, yeah, you know, he's not from Baltimore. Nobody in Baltimore. You you made an emphasis of like nobody from Baltimore sound like me can say that sound like me. Well, I sound like anybody from Baltimore. Right? No, nah, that's not what I was saying. What what I was saying was I take the J Cole thing from any other state, any other place in the world. Yo, not my city. Because my right. city need to know who the fuck we're saying. Yeah. But that right there, the emphasis on not my city. And I think that's something that we all go through. Like, we want to, we put this this importance on our city when we see time and time, mm. it really ain't that important. I mean, yeah, of course. Like, of course that. But you, it's where you from, bro. Mm -hmm. Like, you want where you from to rock with you. Yo. Whoever's saying fact. that, they lying. No, I mean, know? that's a fact, though. Yeah, you fact. want your folks to rock with you, man. Like, you don't want to be. Hot in Kansas, but nobody else. I'm like, nigga, who the fuck is you? And nigga, hot in Kansas. <laughs> like, no, this bro. Is, like, this is true, but again, yeah. we, I, perfect example. You see how you said, Shorty Shorty would never get the love that he get in LA and Baltimore, mm -hmm. right? But he should. But no, no, you're right. I, mm -hmm. I feel the same as that way, 100%. But I'm saying, like, knowing what we know now, we are. A lot of rappers get killed in their hometown. Mm -hmm. Your hometown never gives you the love, right? Mm -hmm. You move out of your city, you get. We know, well, knowing what we know now, mm -hmm. it's still that desire, that you urge want to that, want bro. to get the love from your city. Yes. But why? It don't make sense. We should know better now. I think it's a part of the, if, well, hip, hip, hip hop wise, it's a, it's a part of rap, yo. People rap where they from. Mm. Wayne rap New Orleans, you know what I mean? Like whole rap New York. Every, you, where you, you rap where you from. Mm. This how we rock. I don't know if you heard that. That boy ain't dancing until I faint. Never could stop the fuck that you think. That's let me not putting money on tank, dummy. Hey, Baltimore nigga, where y'all in LA? I, it's, yeah, yo, like it's you gotta do that. Mm. I think it's a part of it. No, nah, it makes sense. Niggas, hey, <laughs> where you? Where the fuck you from? Nowhere. Like I don't, I don't rep where I'm from. Mm. Hey, come on, man. 
Yeah, I mean that's a fact. I, you absolutely right. It's just like they never give us like like I said right. Like they might not understand and feel what's going on now, but they will. Yeah, right. It's like yeah. you're always gonna be slept on from your hometown, but it's like we we urge for that love so much. So Thing bad. is, I be getting I be getting that shit on the low, bro. Like they was hit me the other day about uh, playing a song on the fucking news, and I'm like, oh shit, word. Like that's mm. how you know what I mean, but. You know what I want. I'm going for the gusto, bro. Mm. I'm I'm about to make some real drinks. You know what I'm saying? I got some in the tuck right now. Used to be a good guy December first, but nah, I'm I'm going for the gusto. Let's go around, bro. Yo, you know it's funny. It's it's weird that you can you flourish in LA, LA, but I don't see a Baltimore nigga liking LA. I feel like it's the total opposite. Depending on who you around. Be mm. honest with you, it's beautiful, man. It's beautiful for yeah. sure, but I'm not around bullshit. I just feel like L.A. is Hollywood, the, the definition of Hollywood. Yeah. What's mm-hmm. wrong with Hollywood? What? I'm asking you. Fake? Okay. Fake? Man, it's the only word coming to Ingenuine? Uh, any other synonym for fake? Uh, I don't know. I feel like L.A. like, and Atlanta is like that. I'm going to keep it all the way funky. Mm-hmm. Everybody be like, your heart's Atlanta. I'll be like, it's work. Cause I feel like people only I was gonna ask why you said that. Like, yo, you people, work anyway, bro. Bro, but nah, bro, it's work. I come here, I can I'm I'm closer to the people that's doing things that that so other people can see that I'm doing things. To be honest, I'm doing the same thing I did in Baltimore. Same. It's just I'm in Atlanta, it's more people to interview. So y'all think that I'm more popping because I'm associated with who y'all think is popping. But that see, shit you is gotta corny. Be careful cause, but you know what? That's a that's the that's the secret of perception, bro. Yeah, for I sure. I could have did the same shit I did the past two years in Baltimore and then probably been like, ah, okay. Yeah. But the fact that there's palm trees behind me and the beach behind me, like, this nigga doing it, nigga. Yeah. Like, oh, nah, bro, I didn't see, I didn't heard all of it. That's, but you that's know what I'm saying. I needed that perception because now these niggas is listening. Nah, 100%. You feel me? You so, right. Yeah. It it's ain't. just from Baltimore, like, from my experience in Baltimore, and that's why I tell everybody in Baltimore, you know if a nigga fuck with you if they don't. Yeah. Ain't no faking, ain't no in between. Nah, it is fake. I done seen that shit. I don't I know. I done seen that maybe, shit in my city. Maybe I, I just wasn't popping enough to, to have the fake love, but I ain't. I never could feel fake in Baltimore. It's like, you either fuck with a nigga or you don't. Period. Yeah. Like in Atlanta and places like LA, it's like, they only fuck with you when you when they deem you can do something for them. Or like, That's what I was about to say. Yeah, it's but like I don't, that everywhere. I don't like that. It's like, it's weird. Like, I'll go up to a nigga in LA or, or Atlanta, right? That month, they stiff on you. But they see the page like, yo, and if, oh, yo, lit, what up, bro? Get the fuck out my dick. It's like I'm that everywhere, yo. <sighs> Especially Baltimore. You think so? Yes. Maybe I just wasn't yes, popular. Yes, bro. Opportunity in Baltimore, nigga. What? Yeah. You should have seen how people looked at, oh. Mm. Imagine how much fake shit he got. Mm. You feel me? Like, yeah, I don't, yeah, bro. It's, it's that shit everywhere, man. You might so be I right. know who you around. Maybe I just got a different type of love for the city. Cause I love shit out Baltimore. Yeah, cause I ain't. I, just, I, love, I got a different love now, cause the food and that food trash in LA, bro. Food is food. trash in Atlanta. Yo, like, what yo, you talking I about? Swear to God, bro. bro like, I be telling people, might think I'm crazy, yo. Got, bro. <laughs> food in Baltimore is some. It's bare amazing, none, bro. Yo. It's bar none, bro. Like nobody is fu- <laughs> and slept on. And like, I'm gonna keep it all the way funky yeah. with you. You know what else is really good? And in, in, it's, it's part of food. What, 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 it, what might be better in Baltimore than at hometown? What cheese sticks? Cheese steaks in Baltimore is way better than Philly. I'm sorry. Oh no, nah, fa- Philly don't put no no uh no lettuce, no tomato, no. It's just the meat and the and, fucking. And you can't even get a sh- cheese, bro. Yo. You can't even get a shrimp cheese steak in Philly. No, it's no, bro. They they got the crab meat joints now with the cheese oh, steaks, yo. Man. Yeah, and they put the shrimp on top. You feel like, me? Not I'm nobody. Going on yo, the Baltimore, mall. Baltimore food, the ma top. Three. Yeah, and top I, two and ain't two. Bullshit, I'm yo, telling yeah. you, like, Nick, like I come to Atlanta, they can't get no good soul food. You can't like the the customer what? service in Atlanta See? is trash. See? Yeah, in Baltimore good. they gonna make you feel good. They gonna, they gonna give you some good food. You know what I'm saying? Like, man, yeah, I, yeah. I, I I found that shit out the hard way, but yeah, bro, like. like it's tacos and sushi out this bitch. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's all you get. That's all you get. No, fact. <laughs> if you smoke, you gonna get some good weed, probably. That's but, it. Yeah, but like that's it. Yeah, yeah, like, yo. Man, Baltimore is amazing. I don't. I, I, I love my city. Yeah, yeah. I, I love the shit out Baltimore, bro. Yeah, man. I appreciate you for pulling up, man. You got the project coming. Um, how you feeling though? Like as an artist, like man, I've I've never been so sure. I mm. can't wait to. I God, honest, I can't wait to start performing, yo. Because it's just 
you got to make the records. I made the records. Now it's time to go out here and touch them, bro. I can't. That's my that's my drug, bro. Mm. I can't wait. I can't. You know how Tyson used to be for a fight? Yeah. Nigga, I can't wait, bro. Because I think when, when people see what I got to offer to the game, bro, it's going to be like, okay, this shit, we didn't know it was going to go like that. Mm. You feel me? Like, that's where I'm at right now. I this can't shit. wait till the people see it, man. Like, yeah. I think you're one of the most talented individuals and and honestly, bro, I don't know me. Maybe I just feel like I'm the voice for the f- f- for the bottom real shit. I ain't gonna lie. I just feel like so. Like when I when I hear people real like shit. you, it, it makes me frustrated because so it's so many people who aren't talented who are who having a spotlight shined on. They're supposed to everybody who get in is supposed to. Mm. I, I think. Maybe I'm just a hater. And I'm going to keep it all the way a buck with you. When I was with D1, I used to look at certain niggas like, why, yo? Mm. Till you see, why, yo? I'm like, oh, I'm like, okay. I didn't know that. Like, nigga, I, like, bro, they, all them niggas fucked me up in a good way. Like, I got to see their genius. Mm. Even though they may not boast or brag about it, like, to them, the genius part is not cool. That shit cool to me, nigga. Mm. Fuck the chain. Fuck the money, nigga. How did you make that? Mm. I seen that shit with them niggas. Isn't it? So you look at like, so you you can see the, like a lot of people hate. I see potential. I see all that. Like, a lot of people hate like, hate on like, uh, let's say a sexy red, right? Mm-hmm. But you can see the beauty and the, and the genius inside of how special she is outside of what people can't see. That and I put reason. I see the reason why. Mm. She's in a position she in. She represent a certain type of woman. I ain't gonna say black. It's a certain type of woman, yo. Mm. It's a trailer park shorty that can relate to sexy red. She, you know what I mean? It's a chick in Mexico somewhere that might be on the same, you know. Yo, it's a it's she she represents a certain type of chick, yo. Mm. You know what I'm saying? That's why she winning. It's more women like that than we know. Facts. You feel me? Like that's, this is true. And yeah. the crazy thing is, is women that's not that and they wanna be that, but they can't. You feel me? Like that's the part. So people that's it's bitches that want to say, you know, my pussy pink, paint my the booty hole brown. brown. You feel but, me? Like, but they can't. The job might be looking. They want to twerk so bad, yo. But they they can't, bro. Like you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yo, I get it. Mm. I get it. It's like that for every. Like somebody used to look at me when I was with the one. Like yo, why the fuck? Until they seen. Mm. You know what I mean, niggas, I had, like, bro, come on, man, like. We did a South by Southwest, yo, 2018. I'll never forget this. I performed for like damn near the whole label. Uh, what's shorty name? Sweetie was in that bitch, yo. Mm. Early, this early, sweetie, yo. And um, I performed and shit. And Will a rapper the next day, we all out. He was like, yo, if he don't make it, yo, I quit. Mm. He was like, yo, this nigga just did all that, pull out the sax, come back, hit a dance move, come back, and then you talking real shit. He's like, nigga, if he don't make it, I quit, yo. But that's what I'm saying. I feel like it's yeah. people who are talented that have the talents that you have mm. who are overlooked. Like, let's say, shit, this might be a bad example because, like, what came with it. But what's the girl name? Uh, Jezebel. What's the chick name? The uh, I don't know show. Her name is, like, Jezebel something. Fuck is her name? Like, she was on Love & Hip Hop. Uh, I'm I don't have sure my phone. Yeah. I don't have my phone. What about anyway, it though? Yeah, yeah. She can sing her ass off. Mm-hmm. Like it's like Jay Z, if you're looking for it, like uh Jezebel, something shit like that. But like she can sing her ass off. She played the piano with two different hands and shit like Tough. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So talented, but like she's like people aren't taking her serious in a music game right now, right? And it's like I see people like you, like it's and it's so many people like you. And I'm like, yo, these are the people that should have the spot. Like, I'm these are the people that should have a big man. stage. I'm talk to all of them right now. All you talented motherfuckers, including myself. Y'all want to know why you not on? You want to know what's going on? Make a fucking record, nigga. Make a hit. A real one. A real fucking hit, bro. But it's a hit. It's a record. Because it's if it, you make a hit, you'll take care of the rest, hit, bro. Put a hit right now. You know what a hit can do? I get you, but I feel like a yeah. hit. We, we, we have so much emphasis on this hit. And hits nowadays are just a bunch of bullshit. I'm sorry. Nah, it's, it's, it's not when you talented. It's not when you talented, bro. A hit record from a, a talented artist is way different from somebody that just made that by accident. Because you want to know the difference? They going to do it again. A talented nigga going to do it again, but it's going to be better. You know what I'm saying? They going to do that shit 20 times fold. This nigga may not be able to do it again. Mm. But niggas like me, I didn't know how to make a record. Mm. I knew how to put... 
how I feel on a track. Not how can somebody else relate to this? What do a motherfucker want to walk to work to? What do you want to drive to work to? What that kid going to that next class? What do you want to listen to? The motherfucker that's in the gym. It's too many people out here doing shit. It's bro, you can make a record. That's how I think when I'm in the studio, bro. It's just yo, it's they something for hear. everybody. Bend that ass over. Let that and pussy look, breathe. If that's what you want to do, go make that. Okay. But if you the talent, do it different. Mm. How you gonna talk about that ass when you you know what I'm saying? Like do it different, yo. Like. It's so many, man, the talented people think it's like, why not me? No, nigga, make some shit that they can't, like, it's, they got to fuck with it. Mm. I made some shit, bro, called Pinocchio Nose, man. It's on his next project. And I literally watch people reaction. They don't know I'm watching them hard. Like, I just watch them. What, bro? People lost their mind, yo. Mm. And sometimes it's like, oh, I don't know. Nah, I done seen made people do push-ups before, yo. That's how you know you got something. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Make a record, yo. Shit change when you really hone in on the craft of it and then you take care of all the extra shit like the social media and the, the image and all that, bro. But if you got a record, niggas don't even give a fuck about the rest of that shit. Nah, man. I'm going to let you go. This is, uh, this is good, bro. I appreciate you for pulling up, bro. Oh, right. I uh -oh. appreciate you for having me, man. Yeah, to, I told you yeah. the door was open, bro. Facts. Yeah, you well lying. Yeah. Real shit. Uh, for the people that don't know, let them know how to follow you and everything, man. Support you what you got going on. Follow me everywhere at Wish Granted. And yeah, that boy ain't dancing, is he? he used to be a good guy December 1st. And uh, we're going to get this train moving, man. Got some good shit for y'all, yo. My brother, man. Yeah. Wish Granted, Mr. J Hill. J Hill Podcast is rap. Thank yeah, you, man.